Jim Dunson. I am the pastor at Manasquan Presbyterian Church. And on behalf of the Manasquan Area Churches Ministerium, I want to welcome you to this year's song and scripture. So we are doing this virtually. Um, we're doing this instead of soup and scripture. We really miss that. Hopefully we'll be back next year and uh, doing the soup and scripture that everybody loves so much. But this year, tune in each Wednesday and each week a different church will be hosting and we have chosen a Lenten hymn in which we're going to um, uh, sing that hymn together. You can sing at home on that and then have a message and devotion from God's Word around that Lenten hymn. So today um, we're going to be talking about God's wondrous love for us that we see through Lent and the song that is
He said these words to them. Some of the final words that he gave before he was betrayed and tried. Before he was tortured and crucified on the cross. He died for the sin of the world, for your sin and for mine. These are the words that he shared with the disciples from the 15th chapter of John. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. I've told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. Our God, we thank you for the reading of your word and for the a beautiful hymn that uh, shows us your love for us in Christ Jesus as he's laid down his life for us. Speak to us now in um, this devotion of, of song and scripture. And may we be moved to a stronger relationship with you, to a greater understanding of your love for us in Christ and what that means for us this day um, and throughout eternity. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Even from the very beginning, when Jesus came onto the scene, he went to be baptized by his cousin John, and John sees him and he points out and he says exactly what Jesus is here to do. He says, look, here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Very poignant because the Lamb would have been known as the sacrificial animal. The animal that was taken to the temple altar that would have been sacrificed and its blood spilled on the altar to remove the sin of the one offering the sacrifice to God. And John, even before Jesus' ministry, points this out. Jesus is the one who will bear this dreadful curse, sin's curse on our life for us, so that we would have life. As the song says, this is the wondrous love of God. Today is Ash Wednesday. It is the beginning of the season of Lent, a season in which we look at the retrospective parts of repentance and penitence. Often in this, we look at it in a sense that says, I don't want to feel bad, therefore I don't want to go into this guilty sense of having to repent. But this season of Lent, may we look at it in a different way. May we see it in the light of the love of God for us in Jesus. Jesus, who is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus, who is the one who bears the curse of sin. Jesus, who is the one that shows the love of God as he sets his crown aside. For my soul. Jesus, the one who comes to our aid, who takes away my sin, when I come to the cross and confess that sin. During the season of Lent, may we enter this process of confessing and know it in a way that is like this. Imagine yourself standing in a valley, and you're standing in this narrow valley, and you hear the rushing waves of water coming down upon you. And you're covered by 20-foot walls on either side. And this water is running through this chasm, and it is surely going to overtake you and take your life. And it's at this place you come to the cross of Christ, and the cross of Christ comes before you. And rather than you being wiped out by that water, the cross of Christ where Christ is and hanging there on the cross, bearing that dreadful curse for you, all of that water is swallowed up and instead of being destroyed, there is life, there is forgiveness. This is what it is like when we come to the cross and we confess our sin. This is the place that we find life. And this is the place that we find 
the wondrous love of God. It is the culmination of that. And Jesus says now, just as if I have loved God and remain in his love, he calls us to love and to remain in that same love. And just as Jesus says the greatest love is to lay down your life, we see this in the cross, and now he calls us to love in that same way. So on this beginning day of the season of Lent in 2022, may we see and know and understand that beautiful love of God, that wondrous love of God, and may we sing on to God and to the Lamb, who is Christ Jesus, who takes away the sin of the world and our dreadful curse. And may we sing on when from death we are free, and we sing on to return in thee. God, we thank you for this word, this message, for this beginning of the season of Lent. Help us to see and know and understand your great love. Help us to see and know and understand that we receive your great love by coming to the cross of Christ. That, that we receive the life that is there as we come and we offer our confession of sin. This is where you begin to restore us and make us whole and new. May we place our sin upon the cross. May Jesus, the Lamb of God, who bears our curse, bring that wondrous love to us. And as we have died to sin with Christ, may we be raised to new life in glory with him. In Christ we pray. Amen. Thank you.